The argument over whether artificial intelligence will eliminate employment is heating up. According to AI skeptics, statistical models lack the creativity and intuition of human employees, and are hence destined to do specialized, repetitive jobs. This pessimism, on the other hand, vastly underestimates AI's potential. While AI has already displaced roughly 400,000 manufacturing jobs in the United States between 1990 and 2007, with another 2 million on the way, AI is now automating the economy in a far more subtle way. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will list all the jobs that are about to be completely taken over by robots powered by artificial intelligence, how exactly this will happen, and finally, what the ramifications of it will be. First and foremost, robo-writers, consider the case of writing occupations. Text that is indistinguishable from human writing may be simply generated by AI. This form of AI job automation is mostly imperceptible to the human eye as it replaces employees. Writer, for example, is a popular AI copywriting tool with over 600,000 users and is rapidly expanding. In other words, Writer is used by over half a million people to totally or partially automate their writing. Around the world, there are an estimated 1 million freelance writers who are increasingly competing with machines that don't fatigue, don't require payment, and can create an endless amount of material. The ramifications are significant. Traditional job loss forecasts for AI-induced automation were limited to repetitive manual work and blue-collar jobs. White-collar occupations, such as content writing, are also at risk of being replaced by artificial intelligence. General support is another position that will change. This isn't only a trend in writing. Artificial intelligence is also automating occupations in customer service, accountancy, and a variety of other fields. Companies like Thankful, Yext, and Forethought, for example, employ AI to automate customer service. The consumer, who has no idea whether they're speaking to a biological intellect or a computer, is typically unaware of this transformation. The growth of AI-assisted customer service has far-reaching consequences for the workforce. 85% of client contacts are currently handled without human interaction, according to estimates. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the United States employs about 3 million customer service professionals. Many of these jobs are in risk of being overtaken by artificial intelligence. Where do displaced employees go when occupations like this are automated away? The answer is ambiguous. Many of these workers may be re-employed in different sectors. However, it's probable that they'll lose their jobs and the economy would struggle to absorb them. To compensate for employment losses due to automation, advocates are calling for a universal basic income, in which the government gives all individuals with a basic income to live on. Of course, translation has long been threatened by automation. Human translators, on the other hand, are becoming increasingly vulnerable to AI replacement as massive language models become available. A transformer-based deep learning system beats human interpreters, according to a 2020 research article. This research is crucial because it demonstrates that AI translators are not only as competent as human translators, but often outperform them. Furthermore, the emergence of AI translators is expected to have a detrimental impact on human translators' earnings. As artificial intelligence translation becomes more popular, the demand for human translators will decline, and their pay will suffer as a result. While many economists were initially concerned about outsourcing's influence on the white-collar workforce, the impending wave of AI will have an even greater impact across industries. Indeed, according to Forbes, AI job automation has been the leading cause of economic disparity in the United States for the past 40 years. An OpenAI beta tester predicted that AI will eventually replace many coding professions just over a year ago. At the time, OpenAI hadn't yet launched Codex, their code generation engine that currently allows AI to produce code in different languages independently. While today's Codex is rather crude, it doesn't take a visionary to see how this technology may be utilized in the future to automate numerous coding tasks. As AI improves in understanding and writing code, it will quickly catch up to, and then surpass, human skill levels. Just two years ago, the thought of AI automating creative vocations was science fiction, or at the very least confined to a few early adopter companies. However, AI is now considered standard practice in many industries. To put it another way, if you don't use AI, you're at a disadvantage. 
The main reason for this is that huge language models, particularly GPT-3, have improved dramatically in their ability to comprehend natural English. The preceding examples are only the tip of the iceberg. In practically every business and industry, AI is automating employment. While this may appear to be reason for concern, it is actually welcome news. For centuries, we've been living in a society where robots have gradually replaced human labor. What's new is the speed with which this automation is taking place. Machines are rapidly becoming quicker, better, and less expensive than people. As a result, we're seeing a fundamental shift in the economy, with robots increasingly taking on human-like creative tasks. A new wave of AI-focused firms has developed, all attempting to cash in on the promise of AI, as a result of the chance to automate away employment. The recent influx of billions of dollars in venture capital into AI businesses demonstrates this AI gold rush. Nearly $18 billion was invested in AI startups in the third quarter of 2021 alone, a new high. This infusion of cash indicates that investors trust in AI's promise, and they are wagering that it will eventually automate many occupations, allowing computers to generate value in their place. Meanwhile, we should brace ourselves for a future in which AI slowly consumes the global labor. Boston Dynamics is most known for its robot dog spot, a system that can function in a variety of settings, including offshore oil rigs and deep underground mines. However, in recent years, the business has shifted its focus to the logistics sector, and it just unveiled a new robot designed specifically for moving boxes in warehouses. Stretch is the name of the robot, and it appears to be really an interesting for a Boston Dynamics design. It isn't based on people or animals, but rather on being as practical as feasible. It consists of a square movable base with wheels, a perception mast, with cameras and other sensors, and a massive robotic arm with seven degrees of freedom and a suction pad array on the end that can grip and transport boxes weighing up to 23 kilograms. Stretch shares a focus on mobility with other Boston Dynamics robots. When automation equipment is put in warehouses, it is usually fastened down in one location and a workflow is built around it. Stretch, on the other hand, is meant to fit into any existing workspace and be beneficial for loading and unloading things. According to Perry, this will allow Boston Dynamics to target clients who might otherwise shun automation because it is too costly or time-consuming to implement. Across 80% of warehouses around the world lack automation equipment, providing the organization a large potential market. Stretch, though, does not yet have a price, and it's possible that a robot, no matter how mobile, isn't worth the effort for enterprises with poor profits. Since purchasing Kinema Systems, a firm that provides machine vision software for warehouse robots, Boston Dynamics has shown an interest in the logistics market. It then created Handle, a wheeled robot that could move boxes with a robotic arm while balancing itself with a massive swinging counterweight that resembled a tail. So, what is your opinion on the potential near-term future of artificial intelligence revolutionizing the robotics industry in such a way that it could take over some of the most common jobs today? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.